Okay, so now I'm going to move on to a conceptual question related to RSA. So in a lot of problems, we use the public key E equals 3, which is the public exponent. But we don't see E equals 2 being used that much. And that's because it is a very bad choice for a value of E. And so the question here is why choosing E equals 2 is a terrible choice of E. So this would be because we know that the GCD of E and P minus 1, Q minus 1 is 1. This has to be the case because otherwise we cannot find D, which is E inverse mod P minus 1, Q minus 1. So in this case, we see that the GCD of 2 and P minus 1, Q minus 1 is equal to 1. Now what does this tell us about P minus 1, Q minus 1? Well, it tells us that P minus 1, Q minus 1 has to be odd. Because if it was even, then the GCD of 2 and even number could not have been 1. So it tells us that P minus 1 times Q minus 1 is odd. And if the product of two numbers is odd, that means that the numbers themselves are odd. I'm not going to provide a rigorous proof for this, but it's a very easy proof. You just have to you just have to prove the contrapositive, which is a very simple proof. If p minus one and q minus one are both odd, then p and q are both even. But both P and Q are primes, and both P and Q are even, which means both P and Q are two. So the value chosen for E is two, that immediately restricts the value of P and Q to two as well. So as soon as Eve, who's trying to intercept Alice's message to Bob, sees that Bob's E is two, she immediately knows that Bob's P and Q are both two, and so she can find D equals E inverse mod P minus one, Q minus one, because she knows Bob's E, P, and Q. So RSA is not stable anymore, so Alice cannot send a secure message to Bob anymore. And that's why E equals two is a terrible choice for a value of E. Okay. 